ladies and gentlemen, before I even start, I'm going to have to apologize to everybody. I really thought Ben Simmons was going to the Spurs. But I actually realized it was bootleg Shams Ronnie. I'm actually talking not the real Shams Ronnie because I really went to look at Shams Ronnie page, the real one, and realized nothing has been reported yet. So, the Ben Simmons update, here's the thing. You see, let's really focus on the topic of the day. You know, yesterday I really was having a bad day, but you know, it is what it is. So... Let's just really just calm down, think for ourselves, and let's really get to the start of the situation. Okay, Benjamin, I am so spoiled, I feel so entitled to Simmons. You see, Ben as a player is a good talent. But the problem with him is that he lacks work ethic. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. He doesn't have a good work ethic. Even to be honest, he has no work ethic at all. I'm sorry. All that because Ben Simmons to me is what I'll call a poser. Like, let's be real with ourselves. A guy that is kind of like the guy that loves to play for the comment section. You know, oh, I want, oh, he's, he's getting a jump shot. No, nobody's falling for it, man. Before we look at it and be like, oh, he's been improving, dude, you barely even shoot the ball. You don't even shoot the ball at all. In the playoffs, it even makes it worse. Can you, because, you see, let me say things, for example. The expectation is for Ben to shoot at a Giannis Antetokounmpo level, which is shoot threes at least once. And I'm going to tell you why I like Giannis more than Ben Simmons. You see, Giannis is an African descent, but that's not the real issue. The thing I like about Giannis is that he's not afraid to make mistakes as an athlete. He's not afraid to be in a situation to make mistakes. He's not afraid to go out there and do what's right to help his career. Hmm? Ben has shown me that he's not willing to make mistakes. Ben really cannot handle criticism. For instance, there have been situations where someone, many have said that this man will literally, whenever he's on the bench or something, he might need to, to check his social media to see what people are saying about him. Which in the sense that normally Curry does a similar thing. Like, Curry does a similar thing, but when Curry does it, it's to really fire him up and do something better, right? Ben Simmons only does not care about improving. The guy saying, I am who I am, or the fact that he thought he was the shit, thinking, man, I don't need, I don't need a jump shot. To be great. You sure? This is not the 1960s. This is not the era of the Julius Irvin or Magic Johnson. Where jump shot is not that important. Jump shot is important now. We're in the Steph Curry era. No more of that. You don't need jump shots. You need at least a solid shot. Like Ben Simmons in Summer League was shooting mid-range. All that kind of stuff. But the Ben Simmons that we see now could not even shoot to save his life. You know, it's sad. The same guy that still does not understand how things work. Hmm. I'm not even going to say that Ben Simmons suck. Yeah, you've been an all-star, but to me, that all-star, you didn't deserve it, man. Because if Ben actually was put as an all-star at the point guard position, he will never make it. Let's be honest with ourselves. And the PD rookie of the year trophy, that's not even that's not even debate about it. To me, Donovan Mitchell got robbed. That's all I'm gonna say. But here's the thing. 
the sad part is Ben Simmons is not needs a coach that would be hard on him, like a Greg Popovich, because if he comes, to, you see, the, there's a reason. The reason why I want Ben to come to Canada, for example, is because Ben would actually come to a city where he can revive the franchise and we literally at a situation where we don't, we're not even making the playoffs. We're not even making the playoffs anymore. So all our job is just to rebuild, do something, you know, get something better. And that's what it is. And Ben comes to a city where the old nation would have his back. Before there used to be a rivalry between the Vancouver Grizzlies and the Toronto Raptors, you know, the Grizzlies were taken from us. So there's no more of that. We don't have that rivalry like the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs type of rivalry with the Vancouver Grizzlies. So now it's just, it is what it is. So what is my point? My point is that Ben Simmons to Canada would help the Raptors' marketability and financial status, and it'll help our marketing. Yeah, he can be a dick, but we we got the development staffs to help him as a player. The only thing is it's all on Ben Simmons to improve. We got all the development staffs to work on his jump shot. We did it with certain players that couldn't shoot, that weren't the best shooter of shooters, but when they come to the team, they could shoot to a certain degree. Norman Powell was developed through the system. Uh, Pascal Siakam, for example, that people are not saying, was developed through the system. So I'm not even going to say that Ben Simmons is not going to come to a city that he's not going to be developed. He is going to come to a city where they will love him and they will be willing to work with him through his flaws. That's what I think Toronto would offer Ben. Because realistically, let's be honest, because I later on realized that it was actually bootleg. Shams Rana, that now's trade, but not the real Shams Rana. It's not the official trade. The trade too seems too good to be true. DeJounte Murray, Keldon Johnson, and the first round pick. It's not happening. Ben Simmons. I think Ben to Canada, like I said, that's my reasoning. Plus, Canada got that a weather similar to Chicago. So you know what that is. Freezing, a freezing weather will change Ben's mentality a little bit. Even though he might leave after like, you know, year two. Within those four years, he should have some maturity. Seriously. Plus, age is a... Age is the experience is the best teacher, especially. So the more he grows in the NBA, when he reaches year eight in Canada, you will see that he will be more mature as a person to understand what and what not to do. So to me, him coming to Canada actually makes sense for financial purposes for the Raptors and for maturity purposes for Ben Simmons. And it's now the onus of Ben Simmons if he wants to uh, to be a mature human being, that's it. So the two teams that are the most likely to get Ben is the Timberwolves, the Raptors. The Pacers are already out of the equation. The Pacers offered Malcolm Brogdon and shit. Guess what? Daryl Morey said no. The Raptors, we offered Scotty Barnes, which is the fourth overall pick, Pascal and Fred Van Vliet. Still, guess what? Uh, the Timberwolves already said they're not even shipping out D'Lo, Cat, or Anthony Edwards. Now, it's now Toronto or Sacramento. And Sacramento, I don't think they're willing to trade De'Aaron Fox. Now you're stuck. I don't think Sacramento would help Ben Simmons. He's going to go to another team where he's going to do the same exact shit. You know, so I don't see the maturity 
him coming to Canada would help him as a player develop his game. And maybe we will see that he is that shit. Ben Simmons coming to Canada would even make me more motivated to watch more Raptors games. That's another thing. That's another reason I feel Ben Ben to Canada uh, would help our revenue, our financial status as a franchise. Because we're one of the most popular small market teams. We're more popular than the... Even I'll tell you that the Raptors is a, the most popular small market team you can ever know. And I'm not talking... Because big market teams will get popularity regardless. But we're the most popular small market team because of Vince Carter and that's it. But Ben Simmons to Canada would actually motivate people to watch more Raptors games. Because people are now like, yes, I really want to see what the Raptors are capable of. It's not because of I really want Ben here. I really just want Ben here so he can develop as a person. And as a player, and he also comes to a situation where the weather is harsh and he's able to understand. Because, you see, if you put Ben in a situation where the weather is just soft, like Sacramento, he's not going to mature. Put him in a situation where the weather is always freezing and these paws are always freezing before practice, he'll wise up. I'm serious. It wise up, especially when you have a guy where the responsibility is always on him to be the leader. It wise up. It happens. In, I've I've seen. I've tend to have a similar thing because when when put in a position of leadership, I tend to really take it seriously. So, I think Ben Simmons, when he comes to Toronto, where he's going to be the leader of the offense and defense, he will be able to be more of a mature person. That's why I think Canada is a perfect fit. Although others will not see it that way. But that is what it is. And again, sorry for asked for the misinformation. Ben is not going to San Antonio. Shout out to the to the family and new media for actually correcting me and have my back. Please disregard that tweet about that tweet on my page. Just disregard it. You can correct me, I don't care. But shout out to y'all. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to everybody. You actually you actually, we're actually family. You actually just, you actually came to, you know, correct me, you know? Thank you.